My name's Tom, and I'm here to read you a bedtime story. Now, have you ever seen the sea? It's big, and it's powerful. And sometimes, like for the little crab in tonight's bedtime story, it's a bit scary too. The story is called Don't Worry Little Crab, and it's by Chris Horton. Little crab, and very big crab, live in a tiny rock pool. Today they're off to the sea. This is going to be so great, says Little Crab. They go tick-a-tick, tick-a-tick over the rocks. Splish-splash, splish-splash across the pools. And squelch, squelch, squelch through the slimy, slippery seaweed. I can go anywhere, says Little Crab. Finally, they get to the very edge. Here we are, says Very Big Crab. The sea. Oh, says Little Crab. Maybe it's better we don't go in the sea, says Little Crab. Don't worry, says Very Big Crab. It will be okay. But the waves are getting bigger. Look. A huge wave. Hold tight. Here it comes. Whoosh. I think we've had enough of the sea now, says Little Crab. Let's just go a little bit further, says Very Big Crab. I think you'll like it. But the waves keep getting bigger and bigger. Another one. Hold tight. Here it comes. Whoosh. I don't think I like the sea, says Little Crab. Maybe we should go home. Don't worry, Little Crab, says Very Big Crab. I'm here. Come, just a few more steps. Little Crab takes a step, then another, until I'm in the sea, says Little Crab. But then they see an enormous wave. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Ready? asks Very Big Crab. Little Crab nods. They take a deep breath. Here it comes. Whoosh. Down, down, down they go. Look, Little Crab. Everyone comes to say hello. My name is Little Crab, says Little Crab. They eat delicious seaweed. They run all across the sea floor, and they have a giant game of hide and seek. I love the sea, says Little Crab. Yes, but it's time to go home now, says Very Big Crab. What? I really don't want to go home, says Little Crab. Well, how about we go the long way home, says Very Big Crab. Can we go up this way, asks Little Crab. I think you can go anywhere, says Very Big Crab. And off they went. So, with a bit of bravery and his dad by his side, Little Crab overcame his fear and realised that the sea was full of magic and wonder. So maybe next time that you're scared, you can remember or think of Little Crab and how he learned to be brave. I'll be back soon for another bedtime story. Until then, good night. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.